Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Happy Saturday. Cheers. It's Rain City Gamers Society Saturday. There, we're going to jump into some happy, happy, joy, joy. Then, we're going to jump into some E Series rounds. And then, of course, we're going to be playing Divot Fucking Derby with all of you fine folks. It's going to be a good four hours. And look at the, invita or the uh, invitation, the notification squad here. What's up, Rascal? C Friday, Robert, and V Dog. What's up, everybody? Hope you're having a great start to your weekend. And I hope I am just going to add on to it. Time to jump into the Grand Sumo Invitational here at Yokozuna. Let's shoot a low, low number today. Did you enjoy Back for Blood yesterday? I loved it. I thought it's great. I... I I've been kind of talking about it a few uh, a few times throughout the last couple of days uh, with coworkers and stuff that we're looking forward to it. Um, I mean, it, my my explanation to people have just been like, if you loved Left for Dead, you're gonna really love this because it's very much Left for Dead, but they've modernized some of it, and I think in a good way. One of my coworkers didn't agree, but um, they've kind of added a little bit more of kind of the rogue elements that we see in modern games where you kind of slowly progress to a point and then you die and then you get a little bit better and then you die and then you you know you get better attributes and you get these cards that you play um so yeah it's it's cool i i really like it it's an xbox game pass game so i will happily be hopping in for free i was already to buy it anyway so yeah it's it's not free for xbox live it's free for game pass on pc and on xbox but i i really enjoyed it a lot of fun, so we'll uh, we'll definitely be getting more of it on the channel for sure. And what more fitting way to start off this fine Saturday than a red fast? And then another red fast. Ooh, we got to the fairway though. Hmm. There's a perfect. Yeah, I was I wasn't quite sure distance wise if we were gonna be able to get there. I almost went up a club, but probably should have. Go in for par. I don't know why that traveled so far. Hey, you know, just a standard bogey to kick things off. You know how we roll on this channel. Yeah, it's good to see you, V. Hope you're good, man. Oh, boy. I haven't played this course yet. It seems like the type of course where... You just simply can't can't not get perfects. So this could be a an adventure here for two rounds. This could be pretty pretty solid. Stop right here. I like flying in blind to the Rain City Gamer stuff. That's going to move a lot more. Right in the center. We're going to drink to that. Cheers. Well, the putter showed up today, but my, uh, my perfect tempo has not. There's a red fast. Flat stick is off to a hot start. How did you feel about the dev stream yesterday? Um, I thought the Xbox hosts were so fucking awful at their jobs. 
And I'm not talking about playing games. I, I don't care about that. I think it's kind of cool when somebody who's never really played golf or isn't really into that sort of stuff is just on there playing and enjoying it. That's fine. I just mean how fucking atrocious they were at everything you would expect them to be good at. Like having knowledge towards the product they were talking about, actually asking questions in a professional way and having like a, a professional way of delivering the question. And like I, the, the girl who was on there, there was like three times where she initiated a thought, started asking a question and then like three quarters of the way through, it looked like she literally forgot what she was doing. And she was like, and yeah, yeah. So, you know, and then Josh was like, and then he just answered it kind of like the best he possibly could. Um, and then the, the guy host was at least a little bit better in terms of like some of the questions he asked. So I'll at least give him that. However, the fact that he was like, I'm an avid this and I'm an avid, I'm just an avid golfer. I'm an avid, I, I've been playing this game since launch and then like he doesn't even know how to fucking search for a course he's like uh chambers bay is my favorite course in this entire game i played it 200 times he calls it chamber bay can't search for it it takes him fucking five minutes to search and then he backs out twice of the search i'm like going dude who are you trying to fool right now man like you have no fucking idea what you're even doing in this game you act like you know what you're doing, and you obviously do not. Um, if Chambers Bay is your favorite fucking course, maybe know how to spell it. Uh, if you've been playing this game since launch, at least understand that there's also an Xbox and PlayStation version that literally came out at the same time. At one point during the stream, he goes, I I've been playing this since launch on the PC, but I think it just recently came out on Xbox. How do you get that shit wrong? Like, that's stuff that I just, I don't accept as being okay. You know, like, there's certain things I'm all right with in terms of type, like presentation stuff, people flubbing over things, people mix, mix, mixing up details. Like, I, I say the wrong shit a lot on my stream. I pride myself in trying not to, which obviously they don't, which is shocking because they literally get paid by Xbox to put on a, a stream, and they were fucking awful at it. Um, thankfully, Josh, I thought, did really well. Like, I typically don't expect a dev to get on that sort of environment and be the best part of the stream in terms of presentation, um, talking through his thoughts. Um, like, it was... He should have been running the fucking show. Now, outside of that, I thought it was kind of an odd, like, why are we doing this right now? I mean, I suppose it's just to kind of let people know still that this game exists. It is on sale on Xbox, which they didn't even really talk about. Like, at the very end, they were like, oh, yeah, go pick it up, I guess. Like, I just, what was the reasoning for having him on the show. And I don't even care that they're not talking about the next game or anything like that. Like, I already assume at this point that it's going to be next March. And if it's anything different than that, I'll be surprised. Um, I don't have to hear about anything. I don't give a shit. Tell me when you're ready. We'll figure it out. I can't play it till then anyway. Um, so, like, it's just, I don't know. I thought Josh crushed it. I thought the Xbox hosts were fucking terrible. And I thought at least exposure wise, at least got it out there for folks that simply didn't know it existed. Outside of that, I, I don't really know the purpose of it. The icing on the cake was these motherfuckers searching for Divot Derby match and couldn't find one. Anyone who knows this product knows damn well. Yeah, right? So they searched, they don't find it. At least they moved on. Um, then they play, they play Chambers Bay, which is an RCR, which no bueno, right? Like probably the worst thing they could have done. I'm sure it'll get taken off the game now. Um, but yeah, it just, 
I, it's funny because I thought the HB side of it, the HB slash 2K side of it was was done really well. The Xbox side was awful. So. But who knows, maybe some people saw it yesterday. They've never even knew it existed. I guess like branding wise, it at least had some positive traction just to get in front of people. But I, I don't know. I, I did not think Xbox did very well with it. Just the hosts were terrible. So glad I was in Hemo's stream for that. Oh, did he watch it live? I might have to go back and watch the VOD. I hope he fucking... I, I actually, after I watched... I watched it after it was over. I got home from work and I watched it. And I, I kind of wish I would have watched it live. Just so I would have had some of the reactions. The amount of times I was like, what the fuck are you even talking about? Or like, what are you doing right now to the guy who or the gal that was playing? I was just like flabbergasted at one point someone said a fucking bootleg pebble beach <laughs> yeah oh man hey at least he played the right version of chambers bay and not the other like 15 20 that are just trash and again, I cannot get away from the comments this guy was making about how avid he was and about how expert he was at things. And he then, within 90 seconds, showed that he literally was not. He specifically said that he plays this course 200 times in this game, and he didn't even know how to search for it. He didn't know which version it was. I just... That's, ty that's the type of shit that I just can't let slide. You want to you just jump into it and be like, I don't know what I'm doing. Cool. Go in. It's fun to watch somebody kind of for the first time fumble around. I do it a lot. But like, don't tell me you're good at something and then show me you're specifically not good at said item that you just told me you were good at. Anyway, that's all. Soapbox. I'm jumping off of it. Cheers. The amount of times I cringed during that was unbelievable. Not a good look for the game. It was embarrassing. Yeah, I. It's funny because I think I think Josh saved it. It could have been way worse if Josh wasn't as good at his job, in terms of like his soft skills and talking through his thoughts and and selling the game. It would have been a complete train wreck. Like Josh, Xbox's hosts owe Josh like a bottle of something because they were fucking bad. I mean, again, I don't expect anybody to be an expert like we are. I think that's asking a lot, but at least have the courtesy to do some investigating, understand that the Xbox version came out at the same time as the PC version, which you apparently have been playing every day since launch. Like, those are things I, I like, you want to do some prep work, maybe? And that's the shit that I just don't let slide. And maybe it's because I pride myself on that shit. And then when somebody gets on stage and they represent Xbox and they get paid to do that, and then they fucking just stick their dick in a meat grinder on fucking live camera. Like, I just can't. It just, it drives me insane. Get somebody in there that's good at that. Go hire a fucking streamer to do that shit. That actually gives a fuck. Anyway. Yeah, so look, in terms of just... The content side was lacking, and I, I that's fair, a G, 100%. Um, I just like, I just mean the presentation and how everything was spoken through, and just like the questioning side of stuff. Like, it was, uh, you know, and then and they didn't even address anything in the chat, which I thought was odd. And I get that they're not going to fuck. I mean, the chat was just laying into them and like, they're not going to do that. So I don't like the chat expects them to be like, your guys game fucking sucks. Like, tell me why. Like, they're not going to answer that question. You guys, I mean, it's just, 
it sucks on Xbox. Tell us why, Josh. I want you to admit it right now. Like, what do you guys think he's going to do? You're right, chat. Like, I just... But it would have been it would have been a little bit better if maybe they would have taken some of the chat and maybe talked through some of that stuff. But the problem is, is that's the host's job to do that. And they were awful. They were so terrible at what they were doing that most of the time Josh was just talking because he didn't know like half the questions weren't even really questions. It was just them stammering through a thought and then ending with, you know? And then, like, Josh was like, yeah, I mean, you know, up here we golf. Like, the one guy thought Nova Scotia was on the other side of the fucking planet. It's on the East Coast, you fucking idiot. Like, he made it seem like he was in the UK or something. Oh, God. Anyway. My calling the TGC a small subset, I mean, we are. We are. Are we still playing the game? Yes. Is most of the small subset still playing it? Mostly us, I would imagine. Uh, I mean, I, I think you'd be surprised if you saw the numbers, Robert. Like the TGC crew is, we're a fucking blip on the radar. I asked for a new engine. I've been doing the same, Golf Wolf. I hope we get it. Yeah, he couldn't name a course either, G-Dog. So that was, I mean, just say, like, say, he did say Sawgrass. But, like, say Bay Hill or Detroit Golf, like, some of the new ones. Um, or, like, at least have a course that's maybe a created course. Like, maybe have the two that were just made. You know, if he's going to get on camera, like, why don't they promote the user, the course creation community? And like have him get on and be like North Echo, and then I forgot what Ben's name the Ben's course is, but like have him be like, yeah, let's let's play North Echo, let's let's play Ben's course, and have him like push those out there. Like that was an opportunity for that, and it, he missed it. So 100% G Dog on Josh's behalf. Akashi, thank you. Which is awesome. I played it a couple weeks ago. Whenever it came out, it was really good. Obviously, it was Ben. Right. So like. So, yeah, those those are the two courses that probably should have been played. New engine better make it so planted grass can be seen from <laughs> more than three feet away. Yeah, I hope I hope they can dig into 2K's pocketbook and maybe get a new engine. But that, that shit takes a lot of time to build. So, you know, if they built one from scratch, I would say probably not. However, if they're able to borrow an engine, an in-house one, you know, whatever 2K has that they use. um to then scale out and build a golf game out of. The one thing that EA has, at least that we know of, in, in comparison, is that at least the Frostbite engine they know can build these massive maps, right? So, like, the transition from Battlefield to golf isn't probably as bad. It was a weird one for sure. It felt very unplanned. It did. It 100% did. I did like Alex pushing for more competitive online stuff. Yeah, for sure. I like that was a good question. Um, it wasn't all terrible. There were a few bright spots, but like overall, um, I just thought the host just did a very poor job. Again, they just it, everything funneled back to them just not being prepared. It seemed like, or thinking they knew things that they obviously did not. What's up, Brian? Lost preserve. There you go. All right, sorry guys. Woo, back to the golf. We got 26 in here. Thank you guys so much. Happy uh, Saturday. I appreciate you stopping in. Cheers. We were just chatting about the, uh, the, the developer interview on the Xbox stream yesterday. Sorry you're a tad late. Oh, all good, my friend. So again, yeah, we are playing the uh, Rain City Gamers Society which is on Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. So be sure you go check that out. It's a two-round society every single week from Friday to Friday, and we play on the TGC Tours um, Masters setting, so like uh, the, the non-Beer League settings. And then we're going to jump into two rounds of Happy Happy Joy Joy, which, of course, is G-Dogs, baby. 
and then we'll have some fun there, and then we'll hop, probably hop into E-Series. I don't know if I'll play, I don't know if I'll play all four rounds of the E-Series, but we'll kind of, we'll kind of just play that by ear. Ooh, look at this. 10,000 zipper shrapnel from our boy V-Dog. Cheers. Thank you so much, V-Dog. Appreciate your continued support. That's a lot of busted zippers over there in V-Dog's uh, neck, neck of the woods. So thank you for spending it on a, a shot. Cheers. Ooh. Slappy McNuts, by the way. Thank you for the follow. I missed that 13 minutes ago because I was jumping around on my soapbox. So. All right. Here we go. Let's make a putt. Let's make a putt, and then let's take more shots. I'm Connor Killa. Welcome. All right, let's take a peek at this. I haven't done this in a while. Are we ready for this? For those new to the channel? All right, so here's the uphill putt. This is how we do this. We put the cursor on the cup. And then we double the uphill. Or, I'm sorry, we half the uphill and then add it. So half of 13, six and a half. Let's just add seven. So we're going to go up 20 to 57 feet. Let's do it. And then let's drill it. I think right here is probably pretty good. Ah, uh, didn't break. Didn't break. I probably should have known better on the 181s. Damn it. Oh, well. Distance was good. Oh, interesting here. Ah, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna lay back a little bit. Yeah, I haven't, I have not had a good tempo today, so I was not gonna take that chance. I'm gonna up loft this a little bit, try to counter this red slope. Oh yeah, be close, baby. Mm-hmm. Money. Clank him and drank him. Cheers. Man, these drives. Oh boy. I'm gonna shape this a little bit. We gotta start getting some perfects. There's one. Money. <sighs> Planning a return very soon. Oh. That gets the pelvic region tingling a little bit. Good ball here. Nope. Hold it. That was a bad, that was just bad putt. Damn it. I was just about to say, my flat stick has been saving me so far. And then I, I miss hit that. I'm really hoping the Mariners and Blue Jays find a way to steal AL wildcard being from Vancouver. Yeah, me too. I, I, I just, I'm worried that the Mariners are gonna start losing steam here. They've, uh, they've had a tough road trip. They blew, they blew two saves against the Rangers. And then um, the last two nights, they've lost 
late to the Yankees. So that's four games there um, that they probably should have won. And they've already been playing with house money. You know, they had such a good one run, one, one run record that that had to kind of come down to earth a little bit. And they've had a really good bullpen, but that bullpen is full of a bunch of guys that have been overperforming as well, right? So it's like, in baseball, man, that shit just, it all averages out at some point. And I know they traded Graveman and all that, and that probably has something to do with it. I'm not going to say that, but like, Abraham Toro is a beast, man. Trevor Bauer might be available soon. Amazing. Oh, man. Go. <laughs> What's up, Jake? I wouldn't recommend him. Yeah, the, the bullpen would need a probably need a safety word in the clubhouse. Man, my tempo is atrocious. Get up. Nah, it's not gonna make it. Yeah, they they they're ahead of schedule right now. See Friday, I'm excited for what they're gonna be, and they have a lot more talent in the minors too. And look, it doesn't always come to fruition, but two of their best players aren't even on the field yet. Um, Julio Rodriguez is a beast, and is like 20, and he's in Double A, and he actually just tore up the Olympics for uh, Dominican Republic. And then they have two pitchers that are really good that are probably a year to two away. So they just happen to be ahead of schedule right now uh, this year. So we'll kind of see how it all funnels in. But I, I haven't been this excited about a Mariners like couple of like a Mariners season or the Mariners next three to four years in a long, long time. And it, it makes me excited. What's up, Gumby? All right, front nine in the books. Jake, have you had a chance to play Back for Blood yet? And if so, what are your thoughts? I've had one perfect drive so far. I'm a disaster, and I'm gonna be right in the middle of this shit show here. Oh, God. This is like a date with Trevor Bauer in here. I can't wait for the border to open up so I can go to a game, yeah. Good pitch here. Top right there. There we go. All right, we got to convert. That's in. Cheers. <laughs> or a date with Deshaun Watson. Amazing. Or a massage with, Masha with Deshaun Watson. <laughs> Oh boy, I hate that that's all funny. I don't know what my deal is today with tempo. I'm a disaster. All right, so we're in between clubs here. 118 up seven puts us at 125. So I'm definitely doing this and this, and then we're just gonna see where it goes here. Ah, there's another fast. Get up. All right, shot putt, everybody. Let's make it. Last time we were relatively close. Down. Let's see the downhill putt since uh, I got that as well. All right, so here you go. Here's how you hit downhill. This is a little, little bit more complicated. So immediately we're going to minus eight off of this. And then at that point, we, we subtract more. Now this is also this this 
grid here, what I have on screen, is based on 144 greens. These are 181 greens, which are way faster. So I'll probably take off double of what it's showing on screen. So I'll probably go down 8 and then down 12. Because of the down 40. I'll take the 4 plus the 8. We'll go down 12 to 30. And we'll see how this goes. How you feeling about your hawks i feel every year like i just don't want anyone to get hurt that's always my first thought like achilles acls all that shit going through training camp just stay healthy you know um if they're able to do that i actually feel really good about i think their defense is going to be a lot better than last year i think the fact that the crowd will be in seattle will be a bigger deal than people are leading on um I think their defensive line is a lot better than it was given credit for um, in terms of like their sacks were so bad the first half of last year and they were one of the higher, they might have even led the league in sacks the second half of the year or they were close. Um, Dunlop was a beast and um, they kept him. They brought in Alden Smith who hopefully he doesn't go to jail because he punched his like sister's pregnant ex-boyfriend or something. Um but I and they have their second round pick from Tennessee, who was this like amazing defensive end that didn't play at all last year because he hurt his foot. So I, I think their defense is going to be a lot better, and I just hope that the new offensive coordinator can do what he's saying he can do, which is bring in a quick passing offense, which Wilson flourishes in. So I have I have probably higher hopes than I would have thought I would have had after last year ended. But we'll see. I'm excited, but again, everything fucking boils down to injuries, right? Like, everything. You lose a couple players on defense. I mean, Jamal, Jamal, um, um, what the fuck's his last name? I can, like, see his face right now. Anyway, um, if he gets hurt, then that hurts, right? Um, Jamal Adams. If he gets hurt, then that hurts. If Wagner goes down, we're fucked. If Wilson goes down, we're fucked, Right? Um, also the offensive line again is going to be a crutch. So we'll see. And the division is amazingly good, which is the other problem. 11 and six. Yeah. I, I think somebody asked me in the chat what I thought. I think I said 11 and six. It sounds about right. We want the ball. We're going to score. I like it. Packers, Seahawks, NFC. I, I, I'm into that Gumby in Seattle. Done. How long will they have a crowd? Yeah, that's the other problem with things getting a little dialed back now with the new, like the Delta variant and just that, that kind of worries me a bit. But we'll see. We'll see how it all kind of breaks down. But I'm, I'm pretty excited this year. I, I have some, I have a lot more optimism than I thought I would. I guess I'll put it that way. And now let's make this putt and have drinks. Are we ready? Wow. How did that not break? How does that not break farther left than that at the end? I thought it would it would go right and then it would come back left at the end, especially downhill. Interesting. Huh. Al Harris. Oh man. That interception and the Malcolm Butler interception, like take him to my grave, man. Boy, my tempo. Disaster. I've been better on approach shots at least, but my drives have been just awful. Uh, another tough putt here. Oh, yikes. Okay, um... This is a weird one because the farther we go left, the less it breaks. It's really a speed putt, huh? Here we go. Yeah. 
This might go in. Get in there. Oh, <laughs> just a Randy Savage elbow drop right to the dick. Unbelievable. Man, that one felt really good. Oh, the, yeah, the Butler interception is just like picking up an entire stack of weights at the gym and then throwing your balls down and then letting go of the stack of weights. Carroll should have been fired. I don't know about that, but the offensive coordinator should have, and he, he coached for another two years. This is a mess. I, I, I'm just up to the bounce gods here. All right, I think that might be okay. It's gonna roll off, isn't it? Damn it. Nope. What's up? What about Amy Obi? How are you, bud? Ooh. I'm doing really well. Thank you for asking. It's been a pretty good week. Saturday streams are always a little more chill, you know what I mean? Get to just chat, soapbox it up. There's a perfect, holy shit. Where have you been all my life? It was shoddy. He should have been gone. No, no, no. It was, uh, what's his name? I can see his face right now. He's, uh, he's a Jacksonville, uh, OC right now. He was with Dallas, or not Dallas. He was with, uh, the Lions last year. I'm playing RCG. That's correct. I'm in the first round still, actually. And try to go for this uh, in two. That's not it. That's just not how you do that. I'll take Carol over 95% of the coaches, as will I. This might play well. Come on. Come on. Damn. Didn't expect that to roll through the way it did. Oh. Push that. Snuck it in. Man, this is a uh, this is a tough course, especially when you're not hitting tempo. Pretty course, though. Long par three, huh? Oh, look at this pin. Are you, I mean, are you kidding me with this? This is so unnecessary, you guys. This is the type of shit I'm talking about. This is unnecessary. Daryl Bevel, thank you, Gumby. There's no reason this pin should be there. I'm sorry, but that's just fucking dumb. It should be two squares to the right. I just, I don't understand. Minus 16, minus 10, minus 16, 205. Ah. Uh, all right, we'll hit this. Short, go. He's a Jags OC, that's correct. And he was the he was Denver he was did Denver's. He was Detroit's OC last year, and he was the interim coach for Detroit last year, I believe. Hmm. Wow, here's an interesting drive. Uh well, we tried. Andy Reid, Mike Holmgren. Yeah, probably Andy Reid, because uh 
Yeah, because of Mahomes. But Mike Holmgren, I mean, it sucks that they lost Super Bowl 40 because him having a Super Bowl in both conferences would have been pretty cool. I gotta go play. I might have to get some different clubs in, in my bag today, guys. We might we might use today to do that. That rolled off the green. Really? Reed is who he is because of Holmgren. That's fair. That's fair. Maybe this bounce is right. I got the distance right at least. Oh yeah, get on the green. Don't. Really? Why Why does a heavy rough always grab the balls that you don't want them to grab and then it never grabs the one? Remember, remember on Tuesday, the heavy rough, my fucking ball was like rattling around everywhere and then threw it in the water? But God forbid you're, on, you're right by the green. Fuck this game sometimes. Didn't even break. He got lucky with the first one. Man. Well, I mean, if you're going to use that argument, so did the Patriots against the Seahawks, and they won fourth quarter. Does that mean that theirs doesn't count either? Fuck. Up right there. <laughs> to save par, to end it even, can we do it? Ah, over red. Man, tough track. Holy shit. Really, really tough track. Has the puppy been at your analog sticks? No, not yet. <laughs> Let's take a look at the card. All right, there it is. We had the bogey to start. We had two birds after that. We were minus one on the front. We were plus two on the back. Just cannot get our tempo, right? Like, you're not going to score unless you get your tempo consistent, especially on a course like this. I mean, our putter, the putter today on that round probably saved five strokes. I bet you, tempo-wise, I probably deserve to be plus six, seven, somewhere in there, but we made some putts. All right, round number two, let's get it. Thank you guys so much. Welcome, and welcome back for a lot of you. Rain City Gamer Society, round number two. Let's do it. What's up, Terry Grayson? Anybody think Cowboys? No. Cowboys are the most overrated franchise. I'm glad Dak's back, though. Seems like he's healthy. That sucked last year for him. Hold on. Really?
Not much shrinking that round. No, not at all. <laughs> uh, I think it's the flop shot. Pushed it right. Damn it. I'm going to bogey this again. This is just a bogey hole unless she hit perfect on the tee. And I did, actually. It just rolled into the fucking rough. Let's make this. Come on, get in. Nope. Damn. My Steelers and Big Ben's noodle arm winning the Super Bowl. <laughs> nice, Brandon. Yeah, Seahawks have to go to, see, uh, to the Steelers this year with that 17th game. Well, at least we're up. That that forty yard gap in my bag is a problem. From one eighty to two twenty, that's that's an issue. All right, shot putt. Here we go. Holy shit, this thing is a beast. Mark, you're killing my heart. I know. I'm sorry, my friend. Sorry. What kills me more is an objective fan. I agree with you. That roster is loaded. I'm getting caught up here. Yeah, the Browns are good, but you just never know, right? It all, again, it's all injuries every fucking year. Minus 25. Minus. I'm going to go down to, to 30 feet on this. This is definitely going in. Are we ready? Get the shot glasses poured. Oh. Yeah, still way too hard coming down that hill. Damn it. Bummer. Two forty five down fifty one. Is that seventeen? I think so. The thirty four two twenty seven. I mean, it's this, but I'll be long. Slow might help, but it's not going to move at all in the air. So dumb. Get down. Stop. What a putt. Saving par. Finally, one dropped. If they plan on playing Odell, it's a problem. Yeah, that's it's an interesting issue, right, V-Dog, with the, with the, the Browns. Um, Baker seems to play better without Beckham on the field. And Beckham's amazing. It has nothing to do with his talent. It's just Baker just doesn't play as well with him there. I don't know if he's like forcing him the ball or what that what that is in his brain, but
I don't know. For me, Odell has always been freaky talented, but he's just been ever since the whole like kicker net thing. I he's fucking weird. The Giants couldn't wait to get rid of him. Oh, man. I didn't realize this was such a tough course. I may not have picked it had I known. I just saw that it was one of the newer ones and people were playing it. I didn't realize it was a meat grinder course. Like this drive here. What What is this exactly? Just to hit through here. I guess. I don't... All right. a good ball down shit this ball stopped here how how does the ball stop there oh man I mean I just have to touch this I'm gonna go down 20 to 16 let's just see what happens Go in! Go in! Bang! Get the shot glasses out, baby! What a putt! Cheers. Wow. That was massive. Double drink celebration from Sea Friday. Down the hatch. Here we go. Thank you, Sea Friday. Cheers. What's up, Sir Naps? I just walked in from work. Did you miss? No, no, no. We got, we got a ways for that. I'm not even an hour in right now. We're in the second round right now of the Rain City Gamers Society. And then we're going to do happy, happy, joy, joy. Oh, my God. The red fast. I just... Oh, man. I just can't get away. I can't get away from it. No matter what I do. What a putt, though, huh? Tiger Woods seem to be doing better now. Have we got an update with that? I hope so. I don't know how this got on the green, you guys. Insane. <laughs> uh, should we just make another one? Huh? How do we feel about this? Ah, oh, didn't quite hit that hard enough. Bummer. That wasn't even a terrible, like, putt. Yeah, he totaled his car and shattered his lower right leg. Kind of how I shattered your desk a couple holes ago. Yeah, lucky to be alive, 100%. Alright, we're taking a little bit of a risk here, guys. Ah, 
we fasted it. God damn it. Go ball. We lucked out here. We got a lucky break. Lucky bounce. <laughs> I mean, really? We're with this pin, guys? I mean, come on. I just, I don't understand. It's just so unnecessary. I just don't get it. We're going to make it anyway. Mmm. Good read. I didn't hit that hard enough. If I, if I, I bet maybe another two feet on that, I bet you it's in. There's a great fast. He is very lucky he didn't lose his leg. I 100% agree with that, Brian. That was a scary crash. Yeah, we're into the wind here, too, damn it. Or else I'd have gone for it. There's a good swing, finally. At least tempo-wise. We got 34 in the chat. Thanks so much, everybody. Welcome aboard. Welcome back for most of you. Thank you. Uh, happy Saturday. We're finishing up the second round of the Rain City Gamers Society. We're going to jump into the Happy Happy Joy Joy, uh, Happy Happy Joy Joy event next. Grab a drink or six and just settle up and hang out. I did, did not expect that to be that short. Harsh key. Hmm. Man, tough track. Holy shit. Might be good. Go ball. That's short. This is definitely a platinum course. Because like it, nothing else makes sense if it's not. The course in general is brutal. There's a perfect. Wow, that was slow, huh? Felt like the same exact swing I just had. All right. Look at that. Birdie time. Oh, it's a par. Anyway, we're drinking. Cheers. A little putt from the fringe. I'm trying to find some consistency in how I'm holding the controller. I'm gonna I'm gonna probably try something here and maybe try to Get some better muscle memory. I don't want to hit that.
Come on down. I mean, look at these pins, you guys. I just... I would hate myself if these are the pins I was picking, but I digress. Oh, you got that new TV, Brian. That's amazing. You're loving it? I'm looking forward to that happy, happy, joy, joy. Uh, gee. I'm assuming it's a little more friendly. Hmm. I kind of felt like the wind did nothing there. Wow, all right. I thought that would kick. I mean, what am I, what was I missing here? Like I, I thought that was gonna kick forward and roll down the hill. I don't, I don't understand what happened there. I like, I honestly thought that was gonna kick forward and roll and it kicked left and just went left. All right. All right, let's make it. Close. I've not played it yet, so you'll have to sc score for me. All right, will do. Oh, man, what a tough track this is. I'm sure Palutina will shoot 25 under. Interesting on the slow there. Oh, we got a kick though. Nice. I'll take it. Boom. Birdie time. We got to celebrate birdies on this course. Cheers. Your TV's a game changer. Love it. I know I know Pete has the C the C10 and fucking absolutely loves it. So, I had no doubts. But good to hear. That was a good drive. I'll be back later. I got a date at the fair. Awesome, Gumby. Enjoy. We'll be here. We got another three hours left. That's a slow. My, my finger slipped a little bit. Good draw or a good uh, swing here. Fuck, we're gonna get a bad, bad hop. And eh, not too bad. Uh, oh boy! All right. Boom. Time to start drinking, I guess. Right, Brent? Yeah, crack that bottle of whiskey, baby. Let's do it. Let's, I'd love to try to get back to even here. Oh, we have this fucking dumb hole. 
I don't have a club for. I've hit two really good 184 uh, three irons into this both times. Oh, I guess we do kind of have a club for this. Hold. No, we don't. Bummer. It's close. That's in. Good par. You can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning, right, Brent? That's just, that's life advice right there. Good ball here. We need a hop. It's gonna get a left hop. We'll just see kind of what happens. All right, nice. It was a little bit lighter. Uh, I was hoping it would be more forward than that. Bummer. I thought I would kick forward and then go left and it went dead left. I have been over a million on judging how things are gonna actually happen. The wind. Another par. All right, down twenty eight. We're down it's just uh, in between clubs again. Fuck. Oh, that gap in my bag is just atrocious. Hitting this 184 club pretty well, though, huh? What's up, Kara? I played a round of this when it was an Olympic TGC course and quit. Yeah, I didn't realize it was the Olympic course. I probably wouldn't have picked it. I didn't realize, I, I didn't know what it was. I just saw it and I was like, oh, it's new. I'll grab it. Oh, well. Sorry, we got happy, happy, joy, joy coming up here, Kara, so we're going to turn frowns upside down, baby. Let's do it. 24, 12, 36, 37, 70, or 98. Let's do 98, actually, not 99. And let's make this, and let's all have shots. Let's drink. This is definitely going in. Ah, it's a little bit short. It was in the same design contest as Black Salt Valley to give you an, oh, of course it was. Yeah, I, I mean, now that I've played it, I, yeah, I, it's, th these are the types of courses that I just simply don't enjoy anymore, so, it's okay, I mean, it's two rounds, we're in and out, I definitely would have picked a different course had I known, but it's alright, no big deal, one week won't kill anyone. I also, uh, to be fair, have not had very good tempo at all on this course, which you obviously need. So the course is very tough, but I also have not played very well. But yeah, these these are just, again, these are courses that I just don't have fun with anymore. Up 9, 13, 14, 70. Here we go. To end with a bird. I'm gonna go down left, it's gonna break. Here we go. Ah, this one ran out of gas again too. Damn. 
All right, there it is. Plus two. Plus two, plus six, plus 15. Nice work, Rebs. You know, I mean, I think anybody that shoots that high, you'd expect him to quit. So cheers to you for moving on and just pounding through and finishing up. Let's take a look at the card. There it is, plus one on the front, even on the back. I actually had a better back nine on the second round. We shot a 72. All right, again, that is the Rain City Gamers Society for the week. Yokozuna from Stay Puffed. Brutal, brutal, brutal. So uh, probably going to be frustrating, but uh, good luck, everyone. Let's see if you can beat me. Plus two, plus one, plus one. All right, we're going to back out. We're going to play next the happy, happy Joy Joy Society. You guys should check this out. This is uh, G-Dog Society. It's played on the Beer League or essentially the TGC Tours settings, but on Pro Swing. So a lot more chill, a lot more casual, I guess, if you want to put it that way. We're playing Old Sunset Field. It's also two rounds, just like the uh, Rain City Gamers Society. So you can fit it in pretty easily into your schedule, I'm sure. Let's do it right now. Happy, happy, joy, joy. I do like this course. Boom. Let me just get a perfect right off the jump. I hope this kicks left. No, it's on everything, I believe, right? G yeah, G, actually, good question, G. Is it on... Do you have Happy Happy Joy Joy on other platforms, or is it just on uh, PC? It's only on PC. I mean, do you do you need somebody to put it on the other platforms? Or are you just kind of feeling things out so far? Roll. Uh, I thought we'd get a touch more forward bounce on that. All right, let's make this 175 downhill. Shakar, welcome. I'll hold the line. Hold it. What a putt. Clank him and drank him. Cheers. Same guy that made the last course. Crazy. Back to back, stay puffed. Boom. Right down Broadway. The phone's flashing. Check it. All right, sorry. I had like a million notifications on my phone and none of it was, only about 10% of it was exciting. I just joined the society. Let's see what I can do. Hell yeah. Let's work, Levi. All right. I think I like this ball here. I've been hitting that 184 club pretty well today. And this is a perfect shot. It's gonna bounce and go left or go right. I might have a little bit too much on it, but the line was great. Yeah, just a chill society. Every uh, two rounds, every three days, it just keeps rotating through horses. Join and make Randall happy. All right, let's make another putt here. Come on, curl in. Oh, we just missed it. Damn. All right. Put ourselves in decent position there. Grave fast was a little bit too long. This is a just a gorgeous course, too. Now, the gray slow is going to put it right in this fucking bunker, isn't it? 
Ah, uh, man, a par five too. Bummer. All right, let's just uh, we'll pop we'll pop it up here and take the old medicine. Try to throw it close. This could be a good ball. I don't know if I got the distance right, though. Oh, yeah. It looks like we did. Money. Boom. That's a birdie. Cheers. Uh, I don't know if we can... Crushed. We went for it, because why not? Kick left off this. Oh, yeah, get up the hill. All right, that's a good drive. I'll take it. Stop right here. Boom, that's another birdie. Cheers. Well, here comes the drinking, ladies and gentlemen. You got an eagle. Hell yeah, Levi. Congrats. Oh, we're in between clubs. Oh, boy. Partial this. That's for you, G. Probably needed like an 80. This might go in. This might go in. Bang! Shot glasses out, everybody. Cheers. Bottoms up. <laughs> oh, gee, dog. Man, double drink celebration, everybody. That's 4,000 zipper shrapnel well spent on a second shot. Cheers. Ooh. Yeah, this is what happy, happy joy joy is all about right here. Rushed. Get down, get down, get down, get down. Oh, we might be in the rough here. Damn it. All right, we're gonna have to remember that for round two. That's tough. Not gonna get up there. Maybe I should hit my 224 there, possibly. Ah, oh, bummer. Hit a perfect drive, it rolls into the rough, and then you're just scurrying and scuffling. Stop, spin, right here. Oof. Two cups right. Maybe two and a half. I think it's in. There we go. Same par, baby. There's another par five coming up, I think. <sighs> Smoked. Right in the elbow here. Yes. All right, what do we got coming in? 235. Be the club. Be the club, baby. Be the club. Yes, I got a follow coming in. Pixie, welcome. Does this roll backwards at all? 
Ooh, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Get the duct tape out. I'm passing out rolls of duct tape. Gents, I'm gonna need you to tape down your hogs. This is guaranteed to give you all monster boners that literally rip through your pants, and I can't have that interruption. We're gonna go here. Ooh, G Doc's got the duct tape out. Yes. Eagle time. Oh, that's yeah, it's trending. Get in. Bang. Little roundabout, baby. Get the shot glasses out, baby. Love it. Cheers. All of a sudden, the liver and kidney are ramping up, baby. What a putt! Yeah, three quarters of the of the of the rim touched there. Yeah, the slow. Damn it, the slow kind of canceled out the red lie there. All right. Can the hot putter continue? I hit that a little too hard. Yeah, damn. It's all right, Leparski. Love it, you guys. Look at this. C Friday, G Dog, Brian, C Friday again, Terry Grayson, perfect solid. Robert makes the duct tape rip noise like the guy from that interview. Oh, yes. Amazing. Oh, that, that clip is so good. That's great, G. Kick and go left. Oh yeah, trickle, trickle, yes, we're in, cheers. It's so good. He touched my coworker's breast and then he fucked up, touched my titties. <laughs> oh, it's so good. This is what happens when you actually hit good tempo. This uh this could be really good. Should kick forward. Yes. Oh, go in. Take it. Hold up. Wait a minute. About to m m m mummify your ass. Ah, oh, Christ. A tough pot here. I like the line. Stay up. Ah. Oh. I wonder if maybe I hit that harder. It's in. Damn it. That's a tough pot, though, right? I mean, that whole thing is just bending. You're aiming like four or five feet left. Gotta attend this ass whooping. <laughs> oh, it's so good. This might be one of my best drives of the day right here. This kick can fuck itself. Oh my god, that's so disheartening.
Brutal. Such a brutal kick, you guys. This might be close. Trickle, 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 trickle. Yes, look at that mellow yellow right there. A little cold trickle action. Cheers. What's up, Josh? Any chance that you know how Platt ends from the last game? Is it like real, like where they play 125, then 70, then 30 from the final week? I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm sorry. Elaborate, please. Oh, this might be too much. Damn. Good to see you, though, Josh. Go in. Ooh, that hop. Boom. Birdie time. Cheers. Oh, the Platinum Playoffs. That's what you're asking about. The Playoffs are for everyone the first week. Second week, top 30 money list and or made cut. Third week is top. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Kara, for describing that. I had no idea what he was even asking. Appreciate it. Be the club. Get up. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, I thought we were going to get a bit more roll. It's all right. How about the hole in one on Divot Derby last uh, on Tuesday? It was awesome. Go in. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Just a little harder, and that's in. Fuck. This is a lot of fun, G. A lot of fun. I, I needed this after the Rain City Gamers. Uh, that was tough. Who picked that course? I want all the Rangers at TGC Tours to come in and Tell me how terrible my decisions are on my Rain City Gamer Society. This is this is your opportunity, guys. All right. They use money list or WGR, WGC, WGC events. Ooh, hang on a second. I'm passing out rolls of duct tape. Gents, I'm going to need you to tape down your hogs. This is guaranteed to give you all monster boners that literally rip through your pants, and I can't have that interruption. A little bit under red. Damn. Oh well, we'll take our birdie. Tap ins for goodness. Cheers. We're together a pretty solid round here for Happy Happy Joy Joy. Oh, interesting here. I think we're gonna go right here. Crushed. This should be okay, I think. It just, I don't know how this is gonna bounce. Oh no, hold on. Hold. Ah, we're good. Woo! 
I am looking for that first happy, happy, joy, joy dub. I would love that. This, this could be close. Should bounce and go right. Or straight. Distance was perfect. Slight breaker here, huh? I think it's in. Hold it. Yes. Birdie time. Cheers. Chasing Foxen, probably. Crushed. Right at the stick. Gotta land soft though. I need to use this backdrop here too. Go up this hill and come back down the hill. Come back down, yes. Awesome. Hopefully we have a flatter putt. Well, could have been a lot worse, I suppose. Mmm. Just missed. Bummer. All done for me. You got one under. Hell yeah, Levi. With that eagle, though, right? Celebrate that eagle. All right, we got two holes left. Would love to go birdie, birdie. Get up, ball. Bounce. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go right. Slow, slow. Take this. Tough right to left uh, birdie here, though. Ooh. I thought downhill was gonna break more than that. I thought I hit it light and everything. Like I, that's the exact read and and speed I wanted. And I just, I just overread it. That's all. I, I thought, I thought the ball was gonna break more than that because it was downhill. Fuck. All right, let's end with a bird here. Still a very solid 11 under round right now. Yeah, that was a fast. That was a bad swing. Kick right somehow. Miracle hop here. Oh, it landed. Well, I got the hop. It just was a little fluffier than I expected it to be. I thought that would hit harder. Shit. Oh, boy. This is not good. Oh. Okay, uh, yeah, apparently, apparently 60% of 20 is fucking 25. Uh, the downhill. Unreal. Alright, um, four and a half, five, six, thirty. Close. Ah, uh, to end it with a bogey is just a kick to the dick, but it's all right. Solid round, 10 under round. Look at that scorecard.
And the amount of times I have a round going and I end it with a bogey, I, I, it's too many is the answer. Too many. Let's take a look at the card. There it is, front nine, we were 29, seven under going out, solid. Coming back in, just the four birds, the one bogue, three under, 33, for a 62, 10 under round number one here, and happy, happy, joy, joy. I'll take it. All right, so far we are the leader in the clubhouse. Let's go. Let's follow it up with another 10 under or better. Remember, this is the happy, happy, joy, joy society. This currently is only on PC. It's TGC Tours difficulty, but with uh, Pro Swing. So essentially the Beer League difficulty settings. And I should have aimed farther left. Too much club. Low. Damn. All right, par number one. Not too bad of a gray slow there. Ride the wind. I gotta head out, good luck rest of the way. Thank you, C Friday, I appreciate you hanging out today. We have a good rest of your weekend, buddy. Hmm. Did not make sense in my brain there. Maybe this goes in. Oh, it's, it had a lot of juice on it. There we go. HB, right? Like I, I had a 148 club. I had 11 of an hour win. I know it was, it was angled. And then it went 150, like two. It went four yards farther. So, is what it is. Right at this bunker. Yes. All right. We're definitely driver off the deck here. Here we go. We hit it. Go, ball. Go. Hit this. Oh, nice. Now we got to hold on, though. Come on, give me the putt. Don't go off the green. Ah, uh, that's just brutal. God damn it. I'll take it. Boom. Birdie time. Cheers. Smoked again. I need that hop. Just the same hop we got last time. And we got it. All right. We were essentially right here in round one. Drop right in the dish. Yes. Love it. Birdie. Cheers. All right, here we go. Let's make this a little birdie run. Great pitch. Thank you, G. Let's get on a birdie run here. I need the wind to knock this down. It did. Yes. Great shot. Uh. 
Oh. It did not break it all through that. Like, a little bit. I thought it would be like, you know, a little more pronounced of a break. I figured it would go about a cup to a cup and a half. Then it would continue that angle into the right in the center of the jar, and obviously I misread it. Should work better. Nice. Stop right here. Nice. Brutal. I haven't had many of those tonight, or today, I should say, which is surprising, because a lot of times I have a ton of lip outs. That's my first one I can even think of right now. I've had a lot of close misses, but that's my first lip out of the day, I believe. Bummer. Right at it. Get up. Nice. Eagle time. I'm passing out rolls of duct tape. Gents, I'm going to need you to tape down your hogs. This is guaranteed to give you all monster boners that literally rip through your pants, and I can't have that interruption. Oh, a little bit too much. Damn. All right. We'll take our bird. Cheers. I hit that a little bit too hard. I actually, I, I probably pulled that back a little bit farther into the vibration than I wanted. So that was just a miss hit there, really. Go in. What a putt. Cheers. Thank you, Steel Bike. What's up, buddy? Thank you, G. Hmm. Kick left. Nice. Yeah, go down to the hole. That's in. That's a great putt. Great shot. Cheers. That's a solid front nine. Five under front as we make the turn. Lunch break lurk. I love it still, Mike. It's always good to see you, bud. Thank you, Robert. This needs to hold on. Uh, all right, all right. That lies. Not ideal. This wind. 
Oh, get down. The fast uh, made that a little bit longer than I wanted. What do you think of the course manager mode to pair with the designer for the next game? What do you mean like a course manager mode? I guess I'm not, I'm not quite understanding what that would even mean. This is a shot putt right here. And I've been short on those today too. Maybe I should uh, add a little more girth or look girth, a little more oomph to those. What's up, Uncle Raj? Late to the party, but I've got my beer. Perfect. You're never late then. You're just, you're right on time, my friend. You manage the course, like maintenance and stuff. I feel like that would be an entirely separate game then. I mean, it sounds pretty cool. As a game, I don't know if it would be something I would want them to spend time on in a golf game in terms of like take away dev time from the actual gameplay. But I like the idea of it. Uncle Raj. Thanks, buddy. Cheers to you, my friend. 1,500 zipper shrapnel. But like a golf sim type thing that they... Okay, I see what you mean. They pair the golf designer, the course designer, with like a sim mode. Like Sid Meier's Sim Golf, for instance, but with the course designer. I think that'd be fucking awesome, I think. Um but almost as a separate game, I think. That'd be kind of cool. Ah, uh, the slow might throw this off a bit. But we might get a hop here. I just don't know if it's gonna get up high enough. Oh, it did. Yes. Interesting, I thought I was more worried that wasn't going to go forward on the hop and I was less worried about going left and it literally did the exact opposite of what I thought it would do. I thought it would hop left and not forward and it ended up hopping forward and not left. So I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm obviously not good at predicting hops in this game. Okay. Let's see here, nine. Shot putt again. I think I hit that too hard. I pulled that back way too far. That was just a miss hit. Can we chip it in to make up for it? No, we can't. Oh, oh that was this. That was an eagle putt too. I didn't even realize it. Damn it. Not a depth time probably wouldn't be. Yeah, it, it would have to be a separate spinoff game. I, I, I don't think you would see it in the same package. But the idea I think is fantastic. too much still hold it hold oh yeah now we can duct tape up I'm passing out rolls of duct tape gents I'm 76 tape feet down your hogs. this is guaranteed to give you all monster boners that literally rip through your pants and I can't have that interruption
too hard again. Again, I, I just I pulled that one back too far. That was uh, that wasn't my that wasn't my uh, initial like math. It just I just hit that too hard. I keep doing that. Get in. Oh, I'm stumbling here on the back side, you guys. Damn. All right, we gotta. I mean, that should have been back-to-back -back birds there, and I didn't do it. I had two eagle putts and parred them. That's just horrid. Three putt pars. Brutal. A little bit of a slow there. Right, let's make a putt. Get in. Yes, God, we needed that so badly. Cheers. Uh, those last two birds. Okay, we gotta flush that. We got five holes left. Let's just... Focus on it. In real life, golf scores are only like, what, 300? Yeah, it can depend, but obviously you're going to play better in this game than you would in real life. And depending on, you know, some factors, I guess, but for the most part, yeah. Good ball here. Go ball. Go. Bounce. Uh, I didn't think that would get knocked down as much as it did there. This might go in. Get in there. Bang. Yes. Get the shot glasses out. Eagle time, baby. Cheers. That was huge. Woo. I don't like this drive at all. Like, it might be here, but I'm not even sure. Yeah, this still might be in the rough. I don't I don't know where you go there. That's the old red fast 296 driver uh drive, I think. Just get me on the green somewhere, please. Thank you. Okay. Make it. Hmm. That putt literally felt like in the middle of it for about three feet, it just stopped breaking. And that was where my read was off. It like broke and then it just went straight and then it broke a little bit at the end. And it didn't seem that way through the dots, but oh well. between clubs here. Ninety, but I got a fast. Another shot put here. I feel like one or two of these coming up, this is gonna be to maybe win the tournament, so we gotta really focus and get one of these to drop.
Come on, go in. Uh, ooh, right next to it. Speed was perfect. Damn it. Ah. Ah. Damn. Double breakers are tough. Coming in hot. Go. Roll. Yeah, maybe one less club. Too many. Although if I hit that perfect, it might be a bit different story on the distance. This should curl in at the end. Get in. Oh. Damn it. Just stammering here on the back side. God damn it. Oh, I feel like I should be at like 20 to 22 under right now. God. Frustrating. All right. Let's get a birdie here. Final hole of the happy, happy, joy, joy event. Oh, great fast. Down. All right, another tough putt. Let's drain it to end it right here. This might go in. This might go in. Bang! Yes, get the shot glasses out. Cheers. That's how you end it. All right, 19 under. I feel like somebody's gonna beat me, but I feel pretty solid about that. I think it's gonna be like 22 or 23 under, and I think I had that in my bag today, and I just, I just let it go for those three, four holes on the back side here. Strong score. I have to see what. Yeah, Foxen and Sparty are the ones I gotta out duel, but I, I do feel like it's gonna be like 22 or 23 under. But I'm happy with that. That was a lot of fun, a lot of fun, especially after playing. Yokozuna earlier, right? So let's take a look at the card. There it is. Five under on the front, nine under on the back. We had five birds on the front, two birds on the back with an eagle. No bogey. Bogey free round. I'll take it every single time. So very solid. Again, this is the happy, happy, joy, joy society. I cannot recommend it enough. It's TGC Tours settings, but with a pro swing, essentially the beer league swing. And, and difficulty and it's a ton of fun uh 10 under 9 under for a 19 under there it is it's only on pc but maybe at some point depending on you know people wanting it maybe we can get it on playstation and maybe even xbox yeah thank you g-dog for creating that society here's what i need to do i need to take a quick just two three minute break i have to use the restroom and i have to fill up my drink and then I think we're going to jump into the E-Series. I don't know if we're going to play all four rounds of the E-Series. But um, we'll at least play one, maybe two. We'll see where we're at. And then, uh, obviously, we got David Derby, uh, David Derby looming today, too. So, we got a lot more to go. we got about two hours left. Don't go away.
right, we are back. Cheers. We're we diving in here to the E series event here. This is, of course, the one that coincides with the PGA Tour. This is the official PGA 2K21 uh, Society. Uh, like I said, I don't know if I'll play all four of these rounds on stream today, but we'll at least hop in, play the first round, see where we're at, maybe play the second and kind of gauge it and then uh, see where we go from there. We definitely got David Derby coming up later as well. And I don't know, depending on how many of these rounds we play, we might just play four rounds, go right into Divot Derby, or we might play maybe a round or two here and then jump into a course or two and then Divot Derby. But uh, we'll figure that out along the way. But I appreciate everybody for hanging out today. It's been a great stream so far. We just finished the happy, happy, joy, joy rounds. And now we're hopping in to our E-Series rounds. What's up, Mad Moose? How you doing, buddy? Ill red slow there. This might be in the jar. Oh, look at that ball. Boom. Kicking it off with a birdie. Cheers. What's up, J-Dog? What course is this? Um, it's a good question. I don't know where they play the St. Jude. TPC Southwind is where we're playing. So again, that's the, uh, the official PGA Tour 2K21 Society event, the E-Series event. But it's, it's where the PGA is this week too. I think Spieth shot a 63 today, by the way, earlier this morning before I went live, actually. It's a decent round. A little tough to read this with the, with the uh, shadows, huh? Under Reddit. Uh, it's going to be a little tough with the reads, right? You go from 180s, 175, 180 greens to which you would assume would break more, but they don't in this game. Every other golf club game, they break more when the faster greens hit, which makes sense. And then in this game, for whatever reason, the slower greens break more than the faster greens. It's weird. All right, let's get our tempo back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This might be water. No. Oh, my God. Ah. Uh, what a terrible fucking swing. The uh, meter's throwing me off a little bit. Son of a bitch, a wet par. Ah, uh, I kind of hate myself. Oh, well, shake it off. We're early. it's early. One set, one ninety two down to one ninety. I don't mind this. Should be a good ball here. Wow, I can't believe how much that released. You know, EA Sports is supposed to be coming out with a new golf game. I do, in fact, know this, j Dog. Uh, March of next year, yes. How are you feeling about that? Mm. 
A good putt. Definitely not off of the hottest of starts here. This ball might be really good. Ah, it's coming a little bit farther left than I thought. Damn it. That's a putt. Right in the center. Cheers. I don't know, to be honest about it, because they really didn't do a lot with the last game, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm just, I'm excited it exists, but I think there's just a lot kind of left to be determined. We don't really know what it is, what type of game it's going to be. I can guess, you know, but I'm just happy there's two on the market. They can compete with each other and then we win, you know, that's my thought at least. Yes. I thought we were going to miss it right. Cheers. Boom. That's a good drive right there. Thank you, Perfect Solid. Now we're starting to get a little rhythm going, huh? I like the line of that, but it was a little short. All right. Nope. Look how much that ball breaks. In comparison to the 180 greens, it's insane. Why the slower greens break more than the faster greens. It's the weirdest shit. And I, my guess, and this is a very uneducated guess, is however they determine like why the greens roll the way they do it's some sort of friction setting and so they probably have it where they turn up the friction or they turn down the friction and so because of that it kind of is more velcro-y so it breaks more where there's more friction that's my guess um which i which i'm wondering if you know how they did it on the previous golf club games because it's different in this game than the other games What a putt. Cheers. They put the same amount of effort that they did with Madden franchise. I won't be excited, right? I know there's a lot of people that will hop in my chat and they're like, EA Sports Kid, the EA Golf game is going to be so good. And look, I hope it is. And it could be. But the idea that they're just going to all of a sudden make the better of the two golf games, I just don't think it's a slam dunk. I mean, Rory wasn't very good, number one. Um, and they haven't made a golf game in a long time, so it's like, well, I don't, I don't know why you would just assume it's going to roll in and be really good. 
I hope it is, and again, it could be, but like Rory was not great. So like my confidence level in them isn't all that high, but I'm rooting for it to be good. There's a, go a good shot here. What's up, Narwhal? Rory was so bad, right? Like I, I mean, they had the whole golf world on a, sh on, on a string there for themselves and they fucked that one up, so. Oh, that one snuck in. Cheers. But, you know, it's going to be on Frostbite. It's going to be, you know, a really good looking game. I just hope it plays well. And then I, I'm assuming the online will be good. I'm assuming they'll have a good career mode and all that stuff. So, like, again, I just, I'm more excited about the competition between the two. My guess now is that we're not getting a 2K game next month. So I guess 2K will be August 2022. I'll be happy to play. You think so, G? You think you think they're going to do a full like 2-year dev cycle or 3-year, I guess? Or I guess it would be 2-year. I think I think we're going to see it in March. I think both come out in March. But I, you know, I don't know. You know just as much as I know, right? Like um All their games have come out in August. Yeah. I just kind of feel like they they were planning on coming out and then they pushed it to match with the other, the other golf game. But hey, I, and if it ends up being an August, like a, a year from now, then so be it. But I, I do feel like they're both going to come out in March. So we'll see. Yeah, no, hey, I, again, I don't, I'm not right and you're not right. We're not wrong either. So just kind of cool to speculate. I like this shot. Uh, it's going to be a little short. Hmm. I thought that would fly a little farther. Ooh, interesting here. Birdie. Cheers. And if it is next August, I hope we get a new... We hope we get a new engine. I hope it's just like a completely new video game. That would be amazing. Oh, it's right at it, you guys. Go in. Go in. Oh. So close. It's just like it breaks. Look at right here, right edge. It broke right? I hope 2K was gonna hit PIP EA to post, but I don't see it happening now. Yeah, that's true. I think that's what they're doing, making a new one from ground up. I hope they are, G. I hope they are. And they may need the full two years to do it. I would be okay with that. Um, but I just, I don't know. My brain tells me that I just, I don't think it's, I just don't think that they're going to give EA a six month head start. But maybe they just don't give a shit, which is fair too. So we'll see. There's a good putt, birdie time. Cheers. Jay Grove, thank you so much, buddy. 25 bits coming in. Rumor is this is coming to Game Pass. Oh, okay. I wouldn't be surprised by that. That'd be good, a little influx of people. I'm into it. Maybe we'll get some more people in the Xbox society. Huh. 
A little bit too much to that. Damn it. I'd like for them to do one more, one more adjustment to the swing and then completely focus on the next game. I still wonder if we get a Tiger update. I think they'll wait, G. I don't think they'll update this game with that sort of uh, with that sort of impact, unless it's like the new game is. We know when the new game's coming out, and it's like a you know the month before they have some sort of like Tiger Woods is in PGA Two K Twenty One. You know what I mean? Like, and then it kind of like le leads people into this game, and then it like pulls them into the new one. I could see something like that, but I, I, I don't think they'll play that card until a new game comes out. But, again, I don't... I'm just going off of my thoughts and feelings, just like you are, so... I'm not sure. In fact, I'm, just, I'm interested in just what exactly is happening with the Tiger Woods stuff, considering he's hurt. You know, I wonder how much of that's changed because of his injury and his wreck. Timeline-wise, too. Uh, under Reddit. Or who knows? Maybe he's more involved because he's got nothing to do other than rehab. You know what I mean? So maybe he's even more involved now than he was supposed to be. That's a slow. I didn't, that was one of those where my brain turned off at the top of my swing for no reason at all. Be good, ball. Go in. Right by it. Tiger sat now, feet up in the two. Yeah, think about it. Tiger just designing courses. No big deal. Watching streams. Watching the Canuck tutorials. Ah. Not playing as well as I was hoping. But these are always fun to just hop into. A good drive. Oof. Really bad swing. Close. There we go. Birdie. I didn't even realize that. Cheers. Thank you, Jay Grove. Good drive here. This might be on it. Nice. Missed. Oh, I thought that was going to break more. Cheers. Maybe we get to 10 under, huh? Thank you, J. Grove. 25 more bits. 25 bits for birds. Thanks, J. Grove. 
There's a good drive. Right at the elbow. The wind might knock that down a bit more than that. All right, we're good. A little bit of a pull here. That should trickle down though. Nice. All right, let's see here. Yes, birdie time. Cheers. It's a good way to end it. Three straight birds. Round number one in the books. We are play, currently placed 60th with eight strokes back. All right, moving on. Round number two, let's get it. Thank you so much, Jay Grove. Another 25 bits coming my way. This is the E-Series. Round two, let's get it. Try to keep this momentum going here. Wow, okay. I didn't think that was going to pull that as much. Knock it down, wind. There we go. We're good. And then a tough putt here. Oof. I think it's in. Oh. Just stop. Just stop turning. You know what I mean? Just stop turning. Take this. Boom. Birdie time. Pike him and drink him. Thank you, Jay Grove. Thank you, G. You guys gonna be able to get into the Divot Derby as well with me? How are we looking for Divot Derby today? How many peeps want to hop in here on PC and play with me here in about, I don't know, what time is it right now? Okay, about 30 minutes or so. How are we looking for participation there? <laughs> Tag rockets in. Present. Mad Moose is in. Nice. Perfect Solid is in. Look at all this. I love it. You guys are awesome. Boom. Is that, a, that is a birdie. Tempting, but steak is coming up. Ooh, Jay Grove. I never expect you to pick me over steak. Thank you for the 25 bits, Jay Grove. Appreciate you, man. Still short on this, damn it. I should have gone up a club. Hold it. Almost missed that. I almost missed that because of a really bad swing plane. Whew. Right, Jay Grove? All right, nice. So we should have a, a pretty good turnout today with, uh, with David Derby. At least over five. Oh, look how far that went left to right. 
Hmm. Uh, that left to right on that, that would, like, I did not expect that. It was only eight miles an hour, and it wasn't even left to right full. It was, like, angled. Light rough. Stop right here. Oh, that one hung up right too. Damn it. I just, I've, I've caught a couple of these like weird scuffles during today's stream where I go like, Four or five holes where I'm just scuffling, you know? Just barely missing, just barely tempo, just, you know. Bummer. It in. Yes. The good putt. Cheers. One sixty eight down three puts us at one sixty five. This wind is probably 11, maybe 70. I mean, this is probably a good ball here. A little bit of down loft. Thank you, Jay Grove. It should be close. Kick left. Nice. Boom. Birdie time. Cheers. A distance bonus. <laughs> Thank you, J Girl, for the 50 bits. Birdies for bits. Should be fine. Thank you again, J Girl. God damn, man. Appreciate you. Hmm. Interesting. That wind must have moved a little bit, maybe? I don't even really know. Get in. I gotta stop hitting the seven irons for that, or the seven yard. I gotta hit the eight yard so it has more roll and then partial it with roll. Or maybe even the nine, but just partial it with a roll. That's set the seven one is just too floofy. The the gap wedge or the whatever, the lob wedge is too fluffy to chip with. might be on the stick go in nice boom birdie cheers do a little birdie run here on the back side i presume you had hell one i have i think i have four now i actually had one on tuesday doing divot derby which was awesome
Come on in. Stop right here. Hold it. Ah. Uh, under red. Damn it. Look at this fade. Money. Slow hurts. Hold it. Yes, almost underread that one too. Cheers. Drive. Hold this too. Should be good though. It should bounce and go right or left. Jesus, that thing broke so much. Pretty good shot. Hey, what's up, Curtis? How you doing, man? Hope life is good. Thanks for hopping in. Happy Saturday. I'm playing the E-Series right now, Curtis. We played the Rain City Gamers Society. We played the Happy Happy Joy Joy. And now we're rolling through the E-Series event. Hope you're having a good Saturday. Drop right in the dish. Go in. Oh, it's over the top of it. Okay, I thought that was gonna be a lot shorter. The wind. And <sighs> oh man, just scrapes the front of the cup. Brutal miss there. That was a brutal miss. Let's get an eagle here. For Curtis. Eagle for Todd Father. Let's get it. Dr. Jester. How does this game compare to Tiger Woods games of old? Uh, it's an interesting question because there's a few different things. But I think overall it's a great golf game. Got a lot of flexibility with difficulty levels. So, like, it can be easier than the Tiger Woods that you remember. It can also be much harder, just depending on how you set up all of your difficulty. There's five difficulty levels, and underneath that, there's, like, two different, two dozen different, like, options that you have to kind of mix and match type of golf game you want to play. It's got an okay career mode. Matchmaking is eh, just depending on the, uh, the platform you're on because of population reasons. Uh, online societies is great. It's like an online league that you can create and invite friends or you can join other online societies and play with other folks and compete weekly, daily, whatever. 
Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess it just depends on what you liked about Tiger Woods games. So maybe what are some of the things you enjoyed about the old Tiger Woods games? And I might be able to answer that a bit more specifically. But I think this is a great golf game. Especially, I think it's on sale on a lot of platforms right now. You can find it for probably $17 on Steam if you go to greenmangaming.com. I think it's on sale right now on Xbox for 20 bucks. I mean, it's a slam dunk buy for that. When is the closed BF beta? I can't tell you. NDA. It's the technical test is what it is. Anyway, Dr. Jester, I hope that at least helps a little bit. But uh, like I said, if you get more specific on some things, I could probably dive into a bit, a bit more. I like the build a golfer mode and the mode with the challenges and the verse mode to unlock new characters. Uh, this game has none of that. <laughs> Uh, you don't really build a golfer in this game. Um, all the golfers have the same attributes. There are clubs, though, that the clubs have the stats in this game. The golfer doesn't, but it's very light kind of build your club sets. So it's kind of there, but not nearly what you're expecting. Um, the challenges are there's a you have like uh, sponsorships. And then you get paired up with like another one of the 15 PGA Tour people they have actual likenesses of, even though they have everybody's names in the game other than Tiger Woods and Philip Mickelson and a few others. But they'll like pair you up and you have like challenges that way, but it's not quite what you would think it is. So it's like very light there too. And you don't play as any other golfers. You just play as yourself. So if those are the things you like, this game will not deliver that for you. But the gameplay is awesome. Um, so. <laughs> All right, let's make a putt here. Shot putt. This is the eagle putt. Let's get the duct tape out for Dr. Jester. I'm passing out rolls of duct tape. Gents, I'm going to need you to tape down your hogs. This is guaranteed to give you all monster boners that literally rip through your pants, and I can't have that interruption. Oh, that one felt good, you guys. Damn. Cheers. Yeah, that's 100% what you do. You play anything you play in the game, you earn currency. You usually earn more through like career mode and stuff. Um, but you use that virtual currency. It's only in the game. You don't pay for it or anything like that with real money. And then you use that money to buy clothes that are just cosmetic and clubs that are stats based. So you can have, you know, different clubs that you mix and match in your bag and that and you buy those through playing new career mode, playing through any mode in the game and um, and like building a club set. And that's kind of where your stats are. This game also has a course designer, uh, Dr. Jester. And if you're even moderately into building your own courses, this game has it and it's fucking phenomenal. Like you can build anything you want. Just about. So, Gumby's back. I got soaked. <laughs> well, welcome back, Gumby. Dry off. Grab a drink. We're playing the E series right now. Get down, get down. Q. 
Curl in. Yes. Cheers. Clack him and drank him. What's up, Dale? How you doing, buddy? Dale, are you getting geared up for some uh, from Divot Derby right now? We got maybe another 15 minutes or so. We'll probably do some Divot Derby. If you can. Can this play with mouse and keyboard? And is it pretty tough? The answer is yes. Um, I've never done it. it. There's people that are really good at it by mouse and keyboard. But I would, I would imagine that it's probably easier to play on, on controller. Like, I have a dual sense on my PC, but you can use an Xbox controller, too, if you want. Right? It's just your preference. The game's essentially made for controller. It can be played on keyboard and mouse. It's doable, but it, it sounds like it's a little bit tougher sledding with the keyboard and mouse. But like I said, there's people that are some of the best in the world at this game that play keyboard and mouse. So... I've only ever played PlayStation growing up. Well, the good news for you is if you're still on PlayStation, it seems to be the easier of the platforms. But I play on PC and I, I, I love it, so. This might be good, guys. Get up. Nice. There you go. Narwhal plays mouse and keyboard. So I guess, Narwhal, if you can help Dr. Jester a little bit with any questions, I would really appreciate it. And Narwhal is very good. So. Boom. There's a bird. Cheers. Ooh. Look at that, round number two in the books. That was a pretty solid round right there. I feel like I was much more consistent. Let's take a look at the scorecard. There it is, no bogeys, number one. We we're four under on the front, five under on the back. I think we just dominate the 16th, 17th, and 18th holes. We had uh, three birdies to end the first round, three birdies to end the second round. 10 under, nine under, we're currently 19 under. As I look over at my time, I was thinking about maybe playing another round, but I think, you know what? Let's just go right into Divot Derby, shall we? Let's go right in to Divot Derby. So if you're on PC, load in. I want you to play with me if you can. Stream snipe me. We'll try to get into the same lobby here as we play Divot Derby. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get about like four or five, maybe six matches of Divot Derby in to end this stream, shall we? Oh no, Brian, we're going straight into David Derby. So let me know, for those that are in the chat, if you're on PC, if you wanna play along, let me know when you're ready. And essentially how it will work is I'll count down from five, we'll all hit the button at the same time. That makes it a really good probability that we're all gonna get into the same lobby. Uh, I am on the West Coast, so if you're or somewhere around the world, like Europe or Australia or wherever, um, you I think you'll have a better chance if you go into your settings in Steam and choose either the LA server or the West Coast server. I'm not sure how it's labeled, but I know G Dog does that, and there's a few other people. I think we had uh, Sir Napsalot do that last week, but just as a heads up. Yeah, and Dr. Jester, if you're on PC, go to greenmangaming.com. And I think you can get a code for this on Steam for like 16 or 17 US dollars. So whatever currency you use, however that converts, but it's super cheap at greenmangaming.com. So all the questions you're asking, I mean, for $17, it's probably worth just jumping in and playing and having a good time with, even though it might not quite be what you're looking for. You might find that you'd like it anyway. There might be some extra shit that you'd enjoy or like, you know, um, the course designer too. Like you might hop into the course designer and just get lost in it and build a course. So, but yeah, for 60 bucks, ah, but for 17, I mean, who gives a fuck, right? Uh, 
There you go. Thanks, G. G, you gonna be able to jump in here with us? Or are you just uh, chilling and watching? Hey, what's up, polling points? How you doing, buddy? I should be in. Awesome. Must buy after the Q&A yesterday. Yeah, we talked about that earlier in the stream. <laughs> All right, guys, how are we feeling? Does anybody need more time? I'll just ask that up front. If not, we'll give it like another 30 seconds, let you guys get loaded in and get ready to roll. And then I'll do my countdown and we'll just get the first lobby going. Perfect solid needs a minute, all good. Actually, this is what I'll do. Uh, I'll probably just do a quick bathroom break now then. So I'll be right back, and then when I get back, we'll do Divot Derby. Don't you go away. We are back. It is Divot Derby time. Of course, the final hour of my stream. This has been a hit the last month, month and a half. We've been really uh, having a good time with it. So um, how this works is uh, I'm going to count down from five. You're going to hit the button. We're going to try to get into the same lobby. If you're wondering what Divot Derby even is, think of it as Speed Battle Royale Golf. 20 people start. We all play at the same time. We play through nine holes. And after each hole, depending on how quickly you get in, you can get left, uh, left behind if you're too slow and then you uh, get cut off and then it just basically slows, it slowly moves the field of 20 down to 18, 17, 16, 54. Anyway, down to the just being one person left and that person is the winner. So, here we go. First game, right now. Five, four, three, two, one. David Derby. Oh, we lost G-Dog. No. Cancel out. Everybody get out. Everybody get out. Everybody get out. Everybody cancel, cancel, cancel. I'm going to reset here. We'll try to get G in. I can't join this time. No worries, Narwhal. I appreciate you just being in the chat, buddy. <laughs> Oops. Oops. All right, let's just get it another like 10 seconds here. Let everybody get caught up in the stream since there's a little bit of a delay in the stream. Okay, here we go. Divot Derby time. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Come on, lobby. Hotfather left. What the fuck is going on here? Man. Can Todd Father get back in? We got seven. Okay, we got seven. Let's roll with it. Love it. Thank you guys so much. So we got seven players in. The rest will probably be bots slash ghost balls. Let's take a look. All right, who got in and who is going to be in this first round of Divot Derby? 
And who is going to come out with a W? Look at that. We got G Dog, Garrett J. Peters, myself, Deep Thought, Todd Father, Co Ruler, and J Fry. The rest are bots. We're going to play the front nine here of East Lake. Very soft, very soft, very slow. Good luck to everyone. If you haven't seen this mode, Dr. Jester, this, this mode is pretty cool. The only issue is population. So we try to get as many people from chat to jump in because it's way more fun with people as opposed to the ghost balls. Boom. There we go. I need this wind. I need the wind. No. Shit. Right, at least we're out. Try to get this putt in. Oh my god. Oh. The break on that was insane. Alright, we're in. Yes. Shot glass is out. Cheers. All right, three seconds, two, one. Oh my God. Okay, let's see who made it through. All right, looks like we just, we only lost Ghost Balls, which is fantastic. G Dog in first, followed by J Fry, myself, Deep Thought, and Todd Father. I'll take this. Go in. Boom. We're in. Cheers. All right, who made it through? Again, it looks like we only lost Ghost Balls, so that's great. We're in the top 13 right now. Garrett is first, G Dog, myself, and third. There we go. I'm about to drive home. We'll check you later. Thanks for the info. Yeah, you're welcome, Doctor. Thanks for popping in here. Drive safe. Maybe we'll see you in the game. I like it. I like your style. Just get up on the green somewhere, please. Nice. Good shot. Yes. Moving on. Cheers. Stay left, stay left. All right, we're good. Come on. Stop rolling, please. All right, we got to two putt this. Go in. Ah, oh. was hit well. Boom. 
Woo. Just snuck in. Cheers. Ooh, Todd Father also just snuck in. Who else is here? It's got to be Ghost Balls, right? We're into the top nine right now. I think all of the humans have made it through, which is fantastic. Good drive here. Let's get a good approach. Oh boy, long putt. Go in. Oh, it stopped turning. All right, we gotta make this. Boom, yes. Yes, moving on, chat. Cheers. G is in. Co ruler's in. Oh, we lost J Fry. No. All right, we got Todd Father, myself, Deep Thought, Garrett, and your co ruler, and G Dog. Oh no, not good. Yikes. Oh fuck. We're in trouble, chat. This is not the fair way to miss. Get up, this has to get up, it's not going to. We hit every fucking bunker on this course. Uh, on this hole, I mean. Every bunker on the hole. Stop. We still made it. We still made it. Cheers. Woo. All right, top five situation here. <laughs> Scott and Snake, I fucked up so bad. I almost did. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Thank you. That was not I didn't even hit grass. I mean, the only shot on grass was my tee shot. It was awful. Uh-oh. Get down. All right, we're okay, we're okay. I thought that was gonna fly a lot farther than that. Come on, we gotta get this putt here. Go in, go in. Oof. Yes, yes. Moving on, baby. Cheers. Oh, you had a hard time getting out of the bunker. Brutal. All right, it's me, Dale, and G for the win right here. One more hole left. I clipped that fucking tree. Get down early, get down. Oh no, it's gonna be too long. Stop. Gotta chip it in, gotta chip it in. Go in. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, hurry up. Get it. Did I get it? Did I get it? Who won? Who won? Oh my God, it was like a photo finish. Oh, oh G-Dog! Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh, congrats, G. I mean, that's as close as I've ever seen right there. Amazing.
Gee, I mean, I gotta give it to you. Winner, winner, flamingo dinner. Amazing. I almost kind of wish there was a time there. It would show us like the times. That had to be like hundredths of a second difference. Nicely done, G. Nicely done, my friend. I mean, and that's just match one, guys. That's just the first match of Divot Derby. Man, did somebody clip that? I'd be really curious to go back and see just how close that was. co is stuck in the game. The game didn't know what to do. Like, the balls came, they got in the hole at the same time. All right, just let me know, Dale. We can, we can give it like another 30 seconds and just see what happens. You guys broke it. <laughs> Whew, what an ending. Nicely done, G. All right, I'm gonna take a drink and then we're gonna do another countdown for the second game of Divot Derby. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. The greatest vape lord. Why don't you smoke more? I've never, I just never been into it. Uh, it's, I mean, I have friends that smoke, whatever. I'm not like against it. I just, it's not something I've ever really enjoyed enough to consistently do it. Tried it, eh. Uh, when I was in college, I played baseball. So like I did a little bit of chewing and stuff, but I still like, it was like real tobacco leaves. I never really got into like the canned like Kodiak shit, stuff like that. I just, it was never really my thing. That's all. More of a more of a liquid diet guy, I guess. You eat edibles though? Have I? Yes. Do I consistently? No. All right, guys, here we go. So this is one of the newer courses and there's no ghost balls. So this would be a quick, this will be a quick one. Probably maybe three holes, four holes. There's only seven of us. So good luck everyone. Come on, get up there. I love this shot here. This is a good shot. Yes. All right. Still rolling. That didn't break? Wow, really interesting. That's in. Get the shot glasses out. Cheers. We always take a shot in the first hole. I am terrible. <laughs> it's all right, I appreciate you being a part of it. My tempo is garbage today. Yeah, Dale, it took me a bit to get going, honestly. I, I had really shitty tempo the first round I played today, and then after that, it got a bit better. So, probably just take you a couple of, couple of rounds to get into it. This might be a good ball. It's gotta get up, though. Uh, oh, hang on there, thank you.
Roll up. Ooh, somebody chipped in. Curtis is chipping in on us. Get in. Yes. Moving on. Cheers. Deep thought. Three left. This is the final hole right here. The no bots games are always so quick. I had to partial that blind, blind partial. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. I don't have a, I don't have a club for that hole, so I'm completely fucked. Yeah, sorry guys. <laughs> no dice. Yeah. Nicely done, Todd Father. Nicely done. I'll give you the old flamingo dinner, my friend. Boom. There it is. All right. In and out quick for that one. I missed a five footer I deserve to lose. <laughs> I still can't believe that ending with G Dog and I. Unreal. All right, for those that are just trickling in, uh, we're playing some Divot Derby. And if you're on the PC, I would love for you to stream Snipe Me. Let's get into the same lobby. We've had about six or seven so far. We've been playing this consistently the last couple of streams over the last month or so. And uh, I think we had a 16 one night in, on Tuesday night. It was amazing. So, why are there no ghost balls? Yeah, because they, use, they used a, uh, a created course that was brand new so it didn't have time to get bots on it to get the goat because it takes ghost ball data from people playing it and then it turns it into bots so that's why um they released they actually switched it up this month they had um crazy canucks course and ben's new course only in um matchmaking and then next month coming up here it's going to be in divot derby so they could collect ghost ball data so they kind of learned the hard way on that one. <laughs> All right, are we ready? Five, four, three, two, one, go. We have four. Come on. If anybody has problems getting in, throw it in the chat and I'll, we can back out and try it again. Did we just lose people or are people having issues? Did we get a split lobby? Everybody back out. Everybody back out. Everybody back out. I'm going to back out once we get in there. Back out, back out, back out, back out, back out. I'm so sorry, it was a little bit late on that, but back out. Looks like we might have a split lobby. We'll give it like another 10 seconds here and then uh, we'll do it again hopefully we get back to the six or seven that we had and maybe more maybe some other folks are kind of trickling in want to be a part of the fun if you're again if you're on PC you can do it if you're on console there's no cross play which is a bummer maybe in the next game Scott and Spake is calling his shot I love it all right let's do the countdown and remember hit the button at the same time I do and then we'll try to get into the same lobby. Let's do it. Five, four, three, two, one, go. There we go. There we go. We got seven. Maybe we get to eight. Maybe we get to nine. Come on now. There's eight. Love it. I would love if this was crossplay. We can get everybody involved, get a 20 person lobby. I mean, imagine 
just constantly having a 20 person lobby in this fucking mode and how awesome that would be. Narwhal's in, awesome. Welcome back, Narwhal. All right, let's see who got in. See who got in, where we're playing. Detroit Golf Club, back nine. G Dog, Garrett, myself, Narwhal, Deep Thought, Todd Father, Co Ruler, and Tag Rocket with Bots. All right, guys, here we go. Good luck, everyone. Cheers. Yeah, when the mode first came out, 100%. But the problem is, is a lot of the population is on PlayStation. So, like, on PC, you don't have as much. Although, you have, probably have... It probably goes PlayStation, PC, Xbox, in terms of the, the, the population. So, if we can mix all those together, then it might be a little bit easier to get lobbies full. You know what I mean? Oh, wow, somebody threw a dart right at the stick. All right, let's get in. Boom. Yes. Shot glass is out. We always take a shot when I get past the first hole. And that's because when I was sponsored to play this mode on day one from 2K, I actually missed the cut on the first hole like a fucking idiot. Cheers. Granted, to be fair, the bots in the first day were ridiculous. Kick right. I can never gauge those uh, chip shots. That's in. Moving on. Cheers. All right, who's coming with me? Narwhal's in. Oh, there was a little bit of a flurry there at the end. Did we lose anyone? Okay, we've only lost Ghost Ball so far. Love that. Todd Father leading the crew. Garrett in second. G Dog third in. Get over this bunker. Oh my god. Okay, we gotta we gotta get two good shots here back to back right now. That's one of them. That's in. Yes. Cheers. All right, who made it through? Cool. Deep thought just sneaking in. Woo! Scutting's fake too. Just, just creeping in there. My uh, swing plane is awful right now. Why did I try a partial pitch? That was just bad. Go in. Oh no, 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 no. We gotta get in, we gotta get in. Woo! That was way too close for comfort there. Scott and Spake made it through. It's all about surviving, right? We're in the top 10 right now. co ruler leading the way. Tag Rocket in second, Narwhal third. Good holes, guys. 
Oh, uh, Dale chipped it in, huh? Nice. Yeah, the bots are a little quicker right now. Dr. Jester's back. Oh, boy. It's got to get down. It's an eagle putt, isn't it? Quick drive. Hell yeah. Nice. I did not read that very well. Get in. Yes. Moving on. Cheers. Oh, it's cutting fake, man. You are playing with fire. I love it. We've got one slot here with two balls. Ooh. Oh, no. Did we lose somebody there? We lost G. Oh, no. Philip Carney ousted G Dog. Good ball here. Yes, we're in. Cheers. Ooh, that little flurry of a finish. We lost Dale. We're into the top six right now. It's all human players. Look at that roster. Hey, Cappy, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you as always. Six left, four slots available for that six. Come on, ball, be good. Get up there. This might be in. Yes, yes. Cheers. All right, top four right now, Tag Rocket, me, Podfather, and Narwhal. <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> Much better, that's probably your best game though, right, Scott? Oh, you're gonna wanna be on the right side of this fairway too, damn it. Whoever's, whoever that white ball is in a really good spot. Uh-oh, this might be too much. Hold, hold, hold. Don't, no, don't do the forever roll thing. Thank you. All right, here we go. I'm in trouble. Yeah, I'm out. That didn't break at all. Wow. All right, we got Tag Rocket and Narwhal looking for the win. Good luck. Oh no, Narwhal. All right, Tag Rocket has the, uh, definitely has the advantage right now. Narwhal's in the bunker back here. That might be the end of Narwhal. Egg Rocket taking a lot of time there, though. Okay, right at it. Look at this shot. Oh, baby. Narwhal coming in. Oh, my God. Look at this. Tag Rocket has to make this. And? Oh, no. Narwhal with the win. Oh, 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 oh boy. That's heartbreaking. Ooh. Nicely done, Narwhal. I'll throw a little flamingo dinner at you. Congrats.
What a match. I thought you had no fucking chance, Narwhal. But that's the thing with this this game, man. I'm telling you, like it, it gets the nerves kick in. You start second guessing shit. You start overcomplicating things. Like it's easy to do. Good game to both of you. That was really good. I mean, all three of these matches have been fantastic. time we got all right we got we got at least a few more in this maybe maybe three three ish left i think we got about a half hour left stone canadian nice yeah get get in here stone canadian come on now it's different derby time baby <laughs> that's good speak hey I, like i said that was that was your best effort right there what were you top five I think. It's really about surviving. And then once you get to the final two or three holes, that's when you got to turn it on because you just simply can't make a mistake. You know, you can get away with a bunker on the second hole. You can't get away with a bunker on the sixth hole or the seventh hole. You're fucking done. Unless you're a narwhal, apparently. I was at the skate park with my daughter. That sounds amazing. All right, here we go. Countdown time. Let's get everybody into this lobby. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Yeah, look at that number climb. You guys are amazing. Already at eight. I love this. I love that this has now become a part of my stream. The last hour of all of the streams that I do for golf turn into Divot Derby, turn into playing with all of you fine folks. I just, I wish there was some cross play. I would fucking love that because I know we would get a 15 to 20 person lobby like that if we had cross play. Because it's such a good mode, you know? Here we go. Stone Canadian is in with his 116 victories. God damn. Love it. And everybody else is filling it out. We're at TPC San Antonio. Looks like we're playing the back nine. Very soft, very soft, very slow. Good luck to all. And we're off. Ooh, I have a black ball or a guy's dark, dark gray. Uh, we're gonna be right. Damn it. This is a tough shot from right here. Son of a bitch. That was a weird... That was a weird uh, sound effect, number one. Number two, that was a horrid shot. We just gotta get up and in. Gotta get up and in here. Boom. Yes. Shot glasses. Cheers. Too bad it's not cross-platform. I know, right? In private lobbies. It's one of my higher asks things in uh, in my connection there. So hopefully we can see that in the next game. Anybody else hold Y? I always do. Where are we going on this? I hold Y over the first couple games and then I don't after that, but it's easy to do early. Kick right here. Nice. Go ball. Go, go, go. Just give me a putt. No. All right, we got a chip. We're in. We're through. 
It's all about survival. One slot left. Oh, I thought that chip was going to go in. Oh no, is that you, Stone Canadian? We lost Steve Thought too. Damn it. Doesn't work in this mode. Oh yeah, I know, right? The the triangle. Triangle or Y, I guess, depending on the controller you have. Yeah, I know, I'm pushing it now. Look at That's why over the first like couple of divot derby rounds, I'm like pushing it, and then I keep reminding myself that it doesn't work. Come on, ball. Be close. Might be a little bit long here. Damn it. Go in. Oh. Off the stick. Boom. Advancing. Cheers. You got permaroll on a bad chip. I've been there. One slot left. Who gets it? Who gets it? Oh. Looks like a ghost. A couple of ghost balls there. But Dale leading the charge there on that hole. Nice hole, Dale. And tag rocket. Slow. Hold, hold on here. All right, we got it. This is a big pot from right to left. I thought that was gonna break. Whew. Cheers. Oh, it might have been Dr. Jester on, on Green Man Gaming. Fuck, it might have been. It might have been a promo thing they were doing. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm sorry. You can always try uh, CD Keys as well. CDKeys.com. I'm sorry about that. I didn't know if it was, I figured it'd be through the end of the weekend. But it might have just been through Friday, I bet. That sucks. I'm sorry, my friend. Good ball here by me. We're right at it. Go in. All right. Let's see here. Advancing. Cheers. Ooh. All right, so far, looks like mostly humans making it through. Good drive right there by me. All right, this is where it starts getting nitty gritty, right? Like we have to, every shot has to be good because you just don't have the, you don't have the uh, the leeway here to do it any different. Uh oh, get down, get down. Fuck, that bounce just killed me. Go in. Oh, right by it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Yes. Cheers. Oh, we lost. We lost just Scott and Spake. All right, we're into the top six. All human players. Good luck, everybody. Oh, go in. Go in. 
Look at us. We've got four people right here. Yes, we made the putt. We made the putt. Cheers. We lost Stone Canadian and Tag Rocket right there. We're in the top four. Kohler, Todd Father, myself, and Narwhal. Holy Christ. Let's get this. Oh, I should have aimed right. This hop is going to fuck me. I'm in trouble. Should have aimed right. Yeah. Oh, somebody jarred it. Yeah, we're out. Nicely done, guys. God. That drive. I didn't know I had to aim right there. Fuck. All right. Narwhal Todd Father. Good luck, you guys. Narwhal looking for back to back wins. Todd Father looks like a very fast or fast uh, drive. This is a par five, though, you guys. So you can recover from this, Todd Father. You just have to take, you have to get two really good shots back to back right here. Keyboard and mouse game, right, Dr. Jester? Narwhal coming in hot. Oh, he's going to be short. You have to get up there right here, Todd Father. Oh, no. He needs a... Uh-oh. Todd Father's in trouble now. Narwhal. Oh, no. Narwhal might come back down the hill. Oh, he stopped rolling. Todd Father out of the bunker. Narwhal for the win right here. And he got it. Back-to-back -back wins from Narwhal. Wow. Congratulations. Keyboard mouse gang flexing. Todd Father, brutal. Really just off the tee box. That was, uh, you were scrambling at that point. That makes it tough. Congrats, Narwhal. You get a little flamingo dinner thrown your way. Nicely done, my friend. Can Narwhal get back to back to back wins? Only one way to find out. Man, Divot Derby is so good, you guys. I'm telling you. How are we looking with the clock? All right, we got we got about 20 minutes or so. We're good. We got maybe maybe two matches left, probably. Maybe a third if we get a uh, a bot match or a no bot match, I should say. Yeah, the putting on the slow greens is brutal, especially if you've been playing on like 170, 180s. Like it's just a completely different ball game. Completely different. I appreciate everybody's participation, though. Like, if I was just playing David Derby with a bunch of uh, ghost balls, it's not nearly what this is in terms of people watching and having a good time and the content here. Like, every single one of these games has been fantastic. Okay, that should be enough time for everybody to get out. Here we go. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. Here we go. We got eight. Do we get to nine? Is nine a possibility here? That night, uh, a couple weeks ago, Tuesday night when I streamed, and uh, we had 16 in here for a couple matches. Man, was that fun. I mean, it's, it's a whole, it's a totally different game, I'm telling you. Like, that's when, like, you can't screw up at all with 16 people in here. Because everybody is just so good. Ooh, a little TPC Scottsdale, the back nine. Look at this crew. I love this. All right, good luck, everybody. Let's get it. The early round, yeah, the early holes, you're right. It's it's tough, it's really tough. Like, you might have a little bit of a, like, wiggle room in, in the first two holes, but after that, you're fucked. I'm gonna be in this bunker. Shit. 
right, here we go. We need a good shot from here. All right, we hit it good. We're right at the stick. Bounce left. It's a good out right there. I think we're safe. We just got to get it in. Go in. Yes. Shot glasses. Cheers. Bunker to green. All right, who made it through? Good, everybody made it. Ooh, BNK24 with the sub. Welcome back, four months. That is actually the first sub of today's stream, so I owe you a shot. We'll take that shot at the end of this hole right here. Thank you so much for the continued support, and welcome back. It's crazy that we almost went the entire stream without a new sub. This is right at it, you guys. Go in. Oh, ho, ho. what a shot here. Get the shot glasses out, everybody. Boom. This is the BNK24. Thank you so much. Cheers. Woo. Man. Tries to get a little boozy near the end of the stream, huh? The balls cannot hit each other. <laughs> hey yo! Scott and Spake gifting a sub. Thank you so much, Scott and Spake. Tag Rocket. I want to see as many people in here in the chat just spam with emotes right now in celebration of Scott and Spake. Thank you so much for the gifted sub. That's two on the channel. Get up. Get up. Oh no, we got somebody in the drink. Good ball up there. Somebody's really close. Shot putt. Go in. Go in. Oh my god. We almost had three straight shots there. I'd have been boozy. Dr. Jester is all about it. Thank you guys so much. And again, BNK, thank you for the... Uh, Thank you for the sub and Scott and Spade. Thank you for the gift. Appreciate both of you. Cheers. What a great Saturday stream today, you guys. You guys have been killing it from right when I went live till right now. Just amazing support today. You got into the water and still made it through. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. Oh no, are we losing somebody here? This typically means somebody's getting dropped. Ah, uh, we're good, we're good. Crushed. Oh, Narwhal, we lost Narwhal. Damn. That's a bummer. All right, Narwhal, this is dedicated to you, buddy. That sucks too, because that would have been three in a row. That that's a, that's a shitty way to lose that. Get up, get up. We're gonna be on for, for Eagle here, I think. Assuming this holds. Hey, duct tape time. Get it out. Shot putt. Go in. Look at this. Bang! Cheers. I can tell you right now, it might be nap 30 at the end of this stream for me. Woo! Oh, man. There we go. Look at this top eight. I mean, if that doesn't get the penis to move, I don't know what will. Here we go. Crushed.
All right, let's get this up there. This is when it starts getting to the nitty gritty, right? We got to make good shots right here. Oh. Wind, I need you the wind to knock this down. Oh, this is a good ball here. Yes. What a great partial this was right here. Come on, baby. Let's get in. Money. We're moving on. That partial was sexual. Cheers. Whew. Top six. We lost Scut and Spake. <laughs> right, Brian? Randy Watson. Damn it, I needed this to be a better drive. The second shot is brutal here. Into the wind, too. We hit it. We hit the shot we needed to. It's going to be a little bit left, though. Damn it. Oh, hold it. Hold it. Get in the rough here. Wow. Oh, wow. That... Why did that come out of there so... Yes. Yes. Birdie time. Cheers. I keep putting myself into this position and we just can't quite get over the hump. So hopefully this will be the one. We got our top four in place. This hole is so good. Crowd's about to erupt. Oh, look at that. Somebody almost hole and won that. Unreal. Get in. Yes. Yes. Cheers. Me versus Tag Rocket. Stone Canadian, did you make your putt on that? Me versus Tag Rocket. Who is going to come out victorious? Oh, boy. All right, we got to get a good shot here. Go. No. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. Yes. That's a win. Love it, Tag Rocket. I'm sorry you missed, but I'm kind of happy too. That's a winner, winner, flamingo dinner for the streamer. Cheers. Whew. It feels good. Hey, I'll take the win. I will take the win. Nicely done. Ooh, that felt good. Man, we were so close, right? So it's good to get over that hump. Yes. All right, this is going to be the final, final Divot Derby match of the day. We're going to play some Divot Derby, and then we're going to do our roll call, and then we'll raid somebody. Thank you guys so much. It's been such an amazing stream so far. The amount that you guys add to this final hour playing Divot Derby with me cannot be overstated. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, what's up, Avid Crack? Thank you. Whew. All right, here we go. Final Divot Derby match of the night. And all of these have been fantastic, too. So I have no reason to believe why this one won't either. Are we ready? Five, four, three, two, one, go. We got eight. Come on, let's get to nine and 10. Let's get to double digits. I'm 
just like staring at this number. I'm trying to will it. I'm trying to will this to flip to nine and then ten. I don't think it's gonna happen. But I'll take eight. Here we go. What do we got? Who do we got? Ooh, the Atlantic Beach Country Club. The front nine, very soft, very soft, very slow. And the usual suspects. Una Palmer is new. Welcome. All right, everybody. Good luck. Final Divot Derby. Can I win back to back? I'm going to try my damnedest. Here we go. Got my lucky, my lucky black ball again, I think. The gray ball. This might be near it. Somebody was close. Shot glasses. Get them out. Cheers. All right, who made it through? Everyone made it through. Excellent. I got a little tug in my stroke right now. Giggity. We're gonna be pin high here. It's gonna be probably left to right. Should be in a good spot to two putt, worst case. Get in. Yes. Cheers. All right. Is this, is this the round where we lose a human player? Unipalmer made it in. All right, let's take a look. Okay, only ghost balls have been eliminated. I love it. Get the bots out of here, right? Love it. Oh, I love my shot right now. Love this. That white ball is gonna be close. Oh my God, look at that. Whoever that was, nice shot. Go in, get in. My God, it's like on the lip. We're in, yes, cheers. Three left, two left. One, boom, all right. Where are we at now? Oh, we lost you, Todd Father. I hit driver on accident, oh no. All right, Narwhal in first. Oh, this has to get down. I think we'll be okay. All right, we're good. My swing plane is atrocious right now. Tempo is at least good. <laughs> nope. All right, I think we're all right. Boom. Moving on. Cheers. All right. We made it through. I think we're into the top 10 now, aren't we? Yes, we are. Oh, we lost Scott and Spake. Damn. I'm just so slow today. I don't know what's up. 
Hey, you know what? Sometimes you just have days like that, man. I need the wind here. Get in. Wow, really? All right, we're in. Moving on. Cheers. No better zipper shrapnel watching Seamount or Rhythmic Gymnastics. Amazing. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing, really, Cappy. Myself, Narwhal, Tag, Rocket, Unipomber, Co-Ruler, Deep Dot. I don't really know this hole. Whoops. Well, I didn't do myself any favors here. Shit. Go, 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 go. All right, we got to be close here. Stop. Oh boy, guys, this is not trending well. This has to go in. Oh my God, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh. No! <laughs> uh, fuck. Ah. Uh. Didn't quite get it. Damn. It's all right. We'll root everybody else on here. We got Narwhal, Unipomber, Tag Rocket, Co-Ruler. All right. Co-Ruler's in the, in the shit over here. Everybody else is out in the fairway. Deep Thought. Pulled it. Oddfather. Or Narwhal here is right at it. Look at this shot. Oh, Narwhal. All right, Narwhal's in the driver's seat, and Unipomber's right there, too. Who gets in? Narwhal's in. Deep Thought is in. Tag Rocket is in. And Unipomber is in. Co Ruler is out. I hope they bought you dinner, right? Seriously. Do you have tips for working on tempo or just sitting and training? Yeah, I, I think it's something where one thing that's helped me is like, sometimes if I focus on something on the screen with my eyes, my tempo just works better for whatever reason. Like sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll stare at the eye of my avatar and that helps me with tempo. Um, so try like weird things like that where you can almost kind of let your brain do so. Oh my God. Unipomber, are you kidding me with that putt? Insane. And he's still out. He's still out. I, or he or she. I, I mean, I'm going to take a shot. I have to. That putt was insane. Imagine making that and still not moving on. That's, that is a kick to the dick. Cheers. Oh my God. All right, Tag Rocket and Narwhal. Tag Rocket is in his second final. Narwhal is looking for three out of four wins. And Tag Rocket is down first. He's going to have to make the putt. This is for the win. Oh my God, he lifted it. And Narwhal rolls in. Tag Rocket has given away back-to-back -back wins. Wow. Holy shit, you guys. What an amazing ending. Congrats to Narwhal. We got to throw the winner winner Flamingo dinner at Narwhal. Three out of four wins. And that, that other win, he just got kicked out of. So who knows, right? Who knows? All right, you guys, that is going to be all for today. Let's take a look at the roll call.
What a fun stream, you guys. Thank you so much. This is my favorite part of all the streams that I do. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna shout out everybody that made some noise today. Starting with, ooh, we got Violent Edge 67. Welcome. Thank you so much for the follow. Next, we got Scut and Spake. Appreciate the gifted sub. BNK with the resub. Welcome back, four months. Dr. Jester with the follow. Hopefully, Dr. Jester will get a copy of this game very, very soon. Jgrove, 25 bits. 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 Pixie with the follow. Welcome. I am Connor Killa with the follow. Slappy McNuts with the follow. Rascal with the host. And that is all for today's roll call. What an amazing stream, you guys. Thank you so much for making the Saturday stream such a fun time for myself and for everybody that watches. Thank you for being a part of Divot Derby. I just love that part. It's so good. We got G Dog streaming right now. What I'd love for you guys to do is keep the energy, keep the vibe going. Let's raid G Dog. Let's bring all of this over to G Dog's stream right now. I'll be back Tuesday night, 7.30 Pacific, 10.30 Eastern with more golf. Until then, I hope you guys are safe out there. Thank you again for the support. I appreciate all of you. And uh, until next time, we'll see you. Cheers.